Wireless debugging can be a really convenient feature to use with an Android smartphone or tablet, but not everyone wants to keep this enabled. In diving through the settings menu, just to toggle a feature on for a few seconds can feel daunting at times. So today, I wanted to show you a way to make the Android operating system display a wireless debugging tile directly in your quick settings panel. That way, it only takes a couple of swipes and a quick tap to turn the feature on or back off. Before we can add that wireless debugging quick settings tile to Android, we first need to enable developer mode. This is done by tapping on the build number entry within the settings application around seven to 10 times. This is usually found within the about phone section, but be sure to leave a comment down below if you run into any issues following this guide. I'll even have a dedicated video linked below that can help you along the way. Once developer mode has been enabled, we then need to locate that newly revealed developer options menu. And most people will find this within the system menu of the settings application. However, it can be different from phone to phone. So again, feel free to let me know down in the comments section below if you're having issues finding this developer options menu. When you find it though, you're gonna to want to scroll through this list a little bit. And you shouldn't have to scroll very long before you see an entry labeled Quick Settings Developer Tiles. And we're gonna go ahead and tap on that. So this is a menu that gives us the ability to enable or disable various Quick Settings tiles. These are all going to be disabled by default and you can see we have one specifically for wireless debugging. So again, just takes one simple tap and we enable this specific quick settings tile. Once enabled, you'll find that new quick settings tile in your quick settings panel. However, you may need to scroll through this list or even edit your quick settings panel to add it into the active slot. And that will all just depend on which phone you have, since different OEMs handle this in different ways. But once it has been added, you'll notice that it is easily accessible and turning the feature on or back off doesn't take long at all. Personally, I use wireless debugging for ADB shells and for setting up Shizuku without needing to be connected to a PC using a USB cable. But there are a lot of different things that you can use this feature for. So I would appreciate it if you use the comment section down below to let us know what you are using wireless debugging for on Android. Just don't forget to give this video a like, click on that new hype button that YouTube has been advertising lately, and subscribe to the channel too if you haven't done so already.